I'm your host, George Zuniga, on NBA and TNT at Arvin. Currently, the Sixers and the Raptors are playing in the Eastern Conference semifinals. The game is 90 to 90 currently at the moment. Raptors ball. In other news, the Western Conference Conference Finals have been set by the Blazers defeating the Nuggets in a really intense game seven. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard has just hit a series winning shot over the Sixers on NB. Mark Gonzalez, back to you. Thank you, George. I'm Mark Gonzalez, and I'm reporting live from the Raptors game, where Kawhi Leonard just hit a game-winning shot as he grabs the ball with 3.4 seconds left in an inbound play as he hits the fadeaway from the right in and beats Grill. Let's check it out. Kawhi up top, looks at the clock, turns the corner for the win! Go Thank you, Marco. Back in the studio. So the question of today's show is, which team stat correlates more to wins? This question has arisen due to me and Marco Gonzalez's heated exchange early on the show. This heated argument has led us to formulate this statistical question. Which team stat correlates more to wins? Is it... Wins. We created regression graphs which allowed us to see which a stat correlated most to wins. The R value that was closest to one led us to see which stat correlated most to wins. During this process, we use all 30 NBA teams and their wins this regular season as the X value. And as a Y value on our data chart, we use each team stat. So in turn, this created four scatter plots. And we put those scatter plots into desmos.com, which gave us the line of regression and the R value. To find the R value, we use the equation y equals mx sub 1 plus b. According to the regression graphs, these are the R values. As you can see from the graph shown above, the R value for assists is 0.49. As you can see from this graph, the R value for points is 0.66. As you can see from this graph, the R value for steals is 0.09. And last but not least, from this graph, you can see that the R value for rebounds is 0.57. Hello, I will be explaining how to find a regression line. To find a regression line, you have to have the equation y equals mx plus b. To find the m, which is our slope, you have to find the average of the x's and y's minus the average of x times the average of y over the average of the x squared minus the average of the x's squared. In this situation, I will be using these three points. Now we're using these three points because if I were to use my actual data that would require 30 NBA teams with 30 different stat categories four times, which would be a very long process that probably shouldn't be done, which probably took days to do. So I'll simplify in these steps. Um, to find the averages of x, use 1 plus 2 plus 4 over 3, which is 7 over 3. The average of y would be 2. The averages of x's and y's, which you use both um, sets of data, over 3, which would be 16 over 3. Then you have to find the average, the squares of x's, which is one squared, etc., which would be 21 over 3, which is equal to 7. Now, you're going to put this into the equation, and you will have uh, 7 over 3 times 2 minus 16 over 3 divided by 7 over 3 squared minus 7, which simplified is negative 2 over 3 divided by negative 14 over 9 which simplified would be 3 over 7. So that's our m value. Now, we still need our b. To find b, we use the equation b equals the average of y minus m times average of x. b equals 2 minus 3 over 7 times 7 over 3, which is 1, which is b equals 2 minus 1, which our b would be 1. Now we have our equation, which is 3 over 7x plus 1. Now we still don't know our R value. So to find our R value, we have another situation, another step. Now to find our R value, we have to use this equation, which is R equals one divided by N minus one E times the X value minus the average of X 
divided by the standard deviation of x uh, times the y value minus the average of y divided by standard, standard deviation of y. Now to find this, um, to find standard deviation, it's another long process which add another two minutes of me explaining, which I shortened it and I just found it myself, which is these values right here. Now to find this, we have to input every single uh, data value that we have of both points. So we'd have, I'm just gonna use this example, um, one half, because it's the number of numbers, minus one, one half divided by, multiplied by one minus seven over three over the standard deviation times two minus two over the standard deviation of y. Now we repeat this process and we simplify it to this, uh, plus this. Now, because they do both have the same denominator, you could essentially add them, which would be one over two times 1.333 divided by the standard deviation of x and y. And if we input that into a calculator, it'd be 8.87256. That's how you find the r value, and that's how you find the regression line for any scatter plot or any sets of data points. As you can see, guys, George was right. Of course. Um, I personally thought that rebounder contribute most to wins. He thought points. Well, I guess he luckily thought right. Fuck it, so it matter. Anyways, guys, tune in tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, for our next segment. See ya. See ya. All up and mad. All up and mad. Got Ugas acting silly. All up and fast. X's, Z's, and Y's, you know I'm that guy doing an equation. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I said that. Ooh, just so kidding. Cool. Yeah, I'm that guy. Mm. Yeah, I'm that guy. Do it once, do it twice, just to make sure it's right. Shout out Rick Paula. He like playing them drums. We, we got, got one thing to say. say. Math, Math is, is fun. fun. <laughs> mm.